Hello, good afternoon. My brother here, Carlitos Martinez, and I are going to try to quickly tell you what we've done in preparation for this event. And the first thing I'd like you to do is to trust me. Although you haven't seen the agenda of the program, please trust me and give a round of applause to everybody in the program committee that have been uh, in charge of this job. Let me put some faces to these people so that you may know who <laughs> anonymously uh, who have been working anonymously to put this agenda together. Carlitos Martinez, Marcela Orbiscay, Gustavo Mercado, who's uh, following us via Zoom, Jaime Olmos, who couldn't make it either, Hernan Mogilevsky, I saw him there at the back. This year, we were very fortunate because we could recover, in the committee, we could recover Mr. Thomas Lynch. We had, it had to be, be he had been borrowed by the Public Policy Forum of LACNIC. Now we have him back, we recovered him. So this group has been struggling with the agenda and getting things done. Land cannot have 12 hours and a half over three days. So we'll have today's session on Thursday all day and the beginning of Friday morning. So 12.5 hours, which we hope will be very useful. Now, these are some of the topics we'll be touching upon, IPv6, routing security, traffic exchange points, RPKI, VXLAN, network infrastructure, connectivity markets. These are just some of the topics that will be dealt with. And then we have presentations that include several of these topics as well. So very rapidly, let me tell you that we have three keynote speakers, and this is great for the event. A first keynote speaker, whom you will be seeing once we finish here, he's Rich Compton, who he will be making a guest presentation from the Anti-Amuse Working Group led by Lucy Mara. So uh, also a round of applause for her who made, who organized this and this was very positive. So Rich will be participating remotely and we'll be giving him the floor shortly. Then we have Peter Wood from Telegeography. He is around here, and he will also making a keynote presentation today. And then we have Doug Madery, who's a dear old friend. And after some time, he is now visiting us again, and he will be making a presentation on Thursday. This week, this week we have 13 papers that will be presented. We received 969 proposed presentations and three or four who informed us already beyond the deadline so it was impossible to include them. So I don't know what I did. <laughs> okay, don't worry about what I did. Okay, so we're going to have those 16 presentations today. In addition to that, we'll have a panel on blocking. This will be an interesting panel and it will be coordinated by ISOC and people from LACNIC. This is a very interesting panel. This is a topic we have discussed in the list already and for the first time we'll be discussing this during the event. And then there is a tutorial which will be presented by our friends from NIC.br. This will be on Thursday. So I asked Carlos to rapidly explain how we work and how we manage to select all these presentations that we'll be having this week. Thank you, George. It's a pleasure for us to be in Brazil. 
this is a community which is most dynamic and has developed a lot. I have to learn so much from you, and it's a pleasure to be here then. Now, what I'd like to do is to comment on the selection process. We made a call to submit papers. This, there is a list of several topics, but of course, we don't have a final list. If you have a topic that you consider is relevant for network operations, but is not included in the list, submit your presentation, your option anyway. And you can even send an abstract where you explain what you would like to present. So that allows us to give you feedback as to where we think that might be approved or not. One of the things that I think is a symptom of the growth of this community is that this call has been become increasingly competitive from 69 submissions. We had to select 16. This doesn't mean that the others are not good. They're very good things. But the point is that we have time constraints and we have to select. So this makes us all grow as a community. And we're raising the bar year after year. And this somehow is something we, we like to see. It is encouraging. Now, let me give you, uh, make a general comments, and this applies to any conference that we organize. It's good to start with an abstract because you have to also submit more information. It makes things difficult for us to decide. We have to take 69 proposals for presentation, and we have to assume that we understand a lot of everything, or we have to look up something in the internet. So if you just have a couple of paragraphs, it's very difficult to have more information. So send everything you have, and even if you're interested in making organizing some other type of activity or even a webinar on a topic that is of your interest, get in contact with us or with Lia Solis, who is our manager, so we can generate more and more content. George, are you ready to go? So you will get fed up of seeing us on Friday. You need to ask us to please go away. So we now invite Thomas Lynch to come up and to chair this section of LACNOGS meeting. So a big round of applause for Carlos and Jorge.